Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton and today I'll be printing wood without wood. So let's get to it. Before I start, I want to remind you don't miss out from the huge 3D printing giveaway I'm hosting. For Futura, Refill, Eason, Protopasta, Maker Geeks, Maker Box, Meltink, and Thimble have gathered over 20 prizes for you to win, including filament rolls, filament sample packs, and even cool DIY electronic subscription boxes. The link will be down in the description. So about the film, this is Pollywood by Pollymaker. As you may have guessed, Pollywood tries to look like wood, yet there is something different about this filament. Apparently, Polymaker noticed that by putting wood inside filament, you actually make prints less consistent and increase the risk of clogging the nozzle. So instead of doing what everyone else is doing, they tried to do something different. They mixed PLA with a special polymer that when printed, looks exactly like wood. This results in more consistent prints without the risk of clogging the nozzle. So let's take a look at it. When it comes to presentation, Polymaker earns all the points. It even gets some bonus points for sealing the box itself, which gives the filament an extra layer of protection before it is purchased and used for the first time. Their box screams high quality and is beautifully designed. Besides their website and logo, one of the sites has some QR codes which if you scan with your smartphone will direct you to their Facebook or Twitter pages. It also has a sticker that shows off their partnership with NatureWorks, some certifications so you know you're getting good stuff, and the material specifications such as material type, color, printing temps, speeds, and diameter. It's the details that make this filament stand out. Inside, you'll be greeted with an instruction and feature manual for this specific filament. Plus, it's translated to many languages. The filament is nicely sealed in a vacuum sealed resealable bag with some silica gel inside. So there's no need to buy Ziploc bags. Thumbs up, Polymaker. Now you can clearly see that Polymaker has put some thought into their spools. It has your logo embossed at the top. It's transparent so you know how low on filament you are and has a nice rough texture that makes it look more premium. It also has three spots to hold the end of the filament. Thumbs up again. But what caught my attention was the sticker. Besides the usual material information, it has a scale that lets you know precisely around how much filament you have left. The winding on this filament is also very good, so don't ever expect it to get tangled up. The filament itself has a rough texture, yet there's no need for a special nozzle. Just be careful because it breaks easier than standard PLA. The diameter is also very consistent and within the margin of error. Oh, and you know that distinct wood smell? Well, as it's made of polymers, this filament doesn't have it. Now let's see how this filament prints. As always, I printed my three usual test designs, a calibration cube, a Marvin, and a 3D Benchy. Using an E3D V6 at a 0.2 layer height, I found 230 degrees to be a great printing temperature, and hairspray on glass with or without a heater bed, great for adhesion. However, this may vary for you. The clue when printing this filament, as said in the instructions, is that lower layer heights and higher temperatures will make the print look more like real wood. But higher temperatures also mean more stringiness, so be careful with your settings. Just look at this calibration cube. It's simply perfect. All the letters are well defined and the print actually looks like wood. With the Marvin, you can see that brim is easily removed and it's actually one of the nicest looking Marvins I've printed, on par with Form Futura's metal fill from my last video. The 3D Benchy is another story, at least at first glance. Remember I told you that higher temperatures would increase stringiness. Fortunately, it's easily removed. Besides that, it actually printed perfectly. Knowing about the wood look I could achieve with this filament, I went ahead and printed a low poly Donkey Kong, a cute owl, and a D20. Donkey Kong came out great. Layers are more apparent because I used a 0.3 layer height. In contrast, the owl is printed at 0.1 millimeters. At this layer height, the material's roughness actually hides the layers. The D20 also looks so cool with this filament, and printed with no errors. Now, when it comes to wooden filaments, there are usually three things you can do. You can sand it, stain it, or both. I tried sanding this filament, but that actually doesn't work as it's fully plastic, and actually just eliminates that wooden look that you get when you first print it. 
Then I tried staining it with some cheap wood stain. I gave all the prints a couple of thick, uneven coats to make them look like old wood. I waited for them to dry overnight, cleaned them, and these were my results. I can't properly describe how cool the prints look like this. They look like old, mistreated wooden pieces, and personally, I love it. That is totally subjective though, and you may prefer the unstained look. What I did notice was that some of the stain peeled off from the bottom of the prints, probably due to the fact that it's not really being absorbed. To solve this, simply use polyurethane, 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 polyurethane based wood stain. In conclusion, this filament totally earns my approval. Polymaker not only delivered a quality product, but also delivered innovation and attention to detail. Most people are stuck to using only PLA when printing, so I definitely encourage you to try this filament for yourself. It will get you a great print quality and a unique wooden look. I will leave a link to this filament down in the description along with all the designs I featured in this video. And remember to tag ThinkMaking in Instagram or Twitter to get a chance to get your creation featured. Well guys, I hope you found my video helpful. If you did, feel free to support my channel through Patreon or by buying some cool stuff in my merch store. If not, liking and subscribing would also make my day. You might also want to check out that video. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.